r slash ask reddit what's the most ducked up thing the u.s government has done sandy creek massacre 500 colorado cavalry were sent to track down natives that were attacking settlers for good reason but that is a long story but they ended up coming to a cheyenne village that was known to be peaceful its leader black kettle was a voice of peace for the natives and had even gone to Washington DC to meet with President Lincoln and negotiate a lasting peace between Americans and Cheyenne. Lincoln gave him an American flag and told him that so long as it flew in their camp, no American would harm them. Anyways, this a-hole Chillington was leading the cavalry, and saw it as some kind of noble duty. After months of searching for aggressive natives and coming up empty handed, the government ordered him to disband his force and go home. Chillington, now faced with the prospect of his crusade being an embarrassment, decided to attack Black Kettle's village, basically just to say he did something. The Colorado cavalry attacked in the middle of the night in mid-November, while everyone was sleeping. Eyewitness accounts are terrifying, and basically women, children, and men were run down as they tried desperately to flee across a frozen river. Black Kettle ran into the middle of the battle waving the American flag and screaming that they were friends of America. But the Americans turned on him and he was forced to drop the flag and flee as well. The fact that Black Kettle survived is miraculous, but most of his clan did not, and the few that survived the battle mostly died of hypothermia and starvation from literally fleeing through a frozen river in the middle of the night. Cavalry men raped live and dead women, including children and cut off mape and female genitals and strapped them to their horses as decorations. Black Kettle and what remained of his clan ended up getting sent to a reservation, where they mostly starved to death, and Black Kettle gave up on peace as the younger generation flocked to warlords like Roman Nose and Crazy Horse. This ended up contributing to Red Cloud's war, as did most of the other atrocities in the west. Oh, also Chivington was known to have said, Nits make lice. A statement that referred to his campaign of exterminating native children along with everyone else. Oh and I'm already sure Colorado nearly elected him governor after all of this anyways. I mean, there was the time the National Guard shot and killed coal miners and their families who were being horribly exploited by coal companies so they were striking. See also, the Ludlow Massacre, and the time they decided to routinely sterilize Native American women, and the Guatemala syphilis experiments and the Tuskegee syphilis experiments. WTF is it with syphilis? Cut it out you guys. It's truly mind boggling that we were doing syphilis experiments in the Tuskegee experiment from 1932 to 1972, and in the Guatemala experiments from 1946 to 1948. We were literally doing human disease experimentation after we shut down the Nazi concentration camps where Joseph Mengel was doing human experimentation. And the US government really convinced themselves that it was completely reasonable to inject diagnose and purposely fail to treat a bunch of poor African Americans and Guatemalans with syphilis without their knowledge so they could study it and develop treatment compare how untreated syphilis ended up compared to syphilis treated with penicillin. The silencing, embarrassing, and killing of Gary Webb. Gary Webb was an investigative journalist who proved that the CIA was selling massive amounts of drugs particularly cocaine, to typically black, poor neighborhoods all over the US. This was in order to fund an overthrow of the Nicaraguan government by US friendly terrorists during the 90s. He was forced to resign, disgraced, blacklisted, divorced, and found dead with two bullets through his head in 2004. It was ruled a suicide despite the facts he owned no guns and it being two bullets through the head in a suicide. I was never even aware of this. This whole thread has me ducked up. The Tuskegee Syphilis Experiment. I worked in a library years ago and while I was putting books back, I read a spine with an interesting title. I picked up the book and started reading it. That is how I found out about Tuskegee. It was never mentioned in school. If I hadn't been reading spines I literally wouldn't even know it was a thing. I got a degree in psych and it's widely studied there. When talking about ethics and experimental design, Tuskegee, the Stanford Prison Experiment, and Little Albert are very commonly studied. The CIA testing birth control on unsuspecting women in Puerto Rico. Along with testing Agent Orange on the island. Along with, you know, actually using it in Vietnam. Well this probably isn't the worst thing America has done since it didn't happen. 
but Operation Northwoods. This was a proposed false flag attack on US soil that would justify going to war with Cuba. It was rejected by Kennedy, but approved by every man before him. It's stuff like this that makes the whole 9-11 inside job conspiracy sound a little less wacky, because this was essentially the same thing. Kennedy had a surprising number of those WTF guys. No, we're not doing that. Moments. Which is surprising since he didn't even serve a full term as president. Although, that may be why he didn't serve a full term as president. I'm sure that for every ducked up thing we know about there are even worse things that we don't. Roswell, 1947. Let's say that myth about aliens anally probing us is purely projection. The things they haven't been caught for. The MK Ultra stuff they leaked was the stuff that didn't work. MK Ultra is what I came to this thread to see. Anybody who has had a profoundly bad trip knows that testing large doses of LSD on random people without their knowledge is a really ducked up thing to do. Agent Orange. Depleted uranium arms that polluted battlefields, people's homelands, and left generations of people with birth defects after the war was done beyond Agent Orange in and of itself, but even our own soldiers being told that it was relatively safe when the higher ups knew it wasn't. I had a good friend who struggled with two cancers and a chronic respiratory issue for 30 years before succumbing to it about this time last year due to handling that stuff during Vietnam. Operation Wetback, along the line same ethics of the Japanese internment camps, but not as well known. Interesting. I had no idea that this even existed. That's pretty ducked up. You want this chronological or alphabetical? Doesn't matter. My printer doesn't have enough ink or paper to print the list out anyway. The government has been trying to take away all the privacy. And nobody actually cares. Anytime I bring things like this up I get treated like a tinfoil hat guy. I have also heard people parrot if you have nothing to hide you have nothing to fear. That attitude is dangerous. Tell them to pull down their pants, spread their cheeks, and show off their a-hole. If they don't they're Hippocrates. I think you meant hypocrites. I pictured crates full of hippos. Sent me a letter telling me that I had figured my taxes wrong. If they knew, why didn't they just do it for me? Because TurboTax lobbied to make it illegal for them to just do it for you. So that TurboTax can continue to exist as a rent seeking leech on society. That's why I use Credit Karma. Honestly there's so many grotesquely ducked up things it's hard to pick just one. Not to mention there's so much that's classified. That honestly we don't know for sure. The thread is bound to mention stuff like slavery. Tuskegee, MK Ultra, Trail of Tears, Iran Contra, Jim Crow Laws, Vietnam War, Voter Suppression, Operation Northwoods, The Patriot Act, Pretending Covid is a hoax to short stock, Bombing Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Executing Mentally Disabled Criminals, and the list just goes on and on and on. How do you pick a most ducked up thing? I think the worst part is that they managed to convince everyone that it all won't happen again. The greatest flaw in how most everyone teaches history is that it's taught as a progression, an upward trajectory, always bending toward improvement, and it's absolutely ducking not. I'm gonna go with not doing anything to stop the brutal lynching, rape and murder of African Americans up until the 60s. Shuffles deck picks card not doing anything about the AIDS epidemic. This isn't a very fun card game. Gulf of Tonkin, and subsequently the Vietnam War privatization for profit of our prison systems. Turns out crime does pay. Decimated the Native American population, and then gave them the worst land and doomed them to poverty. Finance conflicts in South American and Caribbean countries to disprove the socialist economic theory and undermine the stability and integrity of communist governments. The eugenics movement. We're disabled, feeble-minded and the mentally ill were sterilized against their will to improve the human race. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.